Matt Makins here. The Great Eclipse of 2017 is coming up quickly. If you have little kiddos that are anxious, here's another craft idea project for them. And this is the one I prefer because in the end you get a little memento that the kiddos can keep in their art drawer. Maybe in 30 years they'll look back at it and remember it fondly. Now, I don't necessarily recommend the shoebox trick. That's great if you want to do that. But to me, it's a little bit clunky and you're trying to angle the box. Plus, you don't get really much of a memento out of that. So this is my idea. It's just a simple little toilet paper tube punch the hole in a little bit of foil at the end and it serves as a uh, little bit of a spotting tool if you will. Sunshine comes through and you'll see a little dot appear on the ground. You just need the toilet paper tube, a little piece of foil, a rubber band, a pen or a piece of paper. I would prefer using a good quality paper like construction paper. For this I'm just going to use some scrap paper that I have so I'm not wasteful. Then comes time to assemble. Just grab your toilet paper tube, the foil, wrap over one end, use the rubber band to hold it on there, and then in my case I'm using a pen because you'll see we'll use that again. And I'm just punching a hole in the end. So during the eclipse you've got your toilet paper tube handy, you've got your piece of paper, set the piece of paper down on the ground or floor, wherever you are, set it down there. And make sure it's a good hard surface because I'm going to have you draw on it. Basically you're going to take your toilet paper tube, it's portable, it's very easy, you're just going to hold it in the sunlight so the sun comes down through that hole and you'll see a little bit of a dot showing up at the ground level. Put your paper in that area. Then circle the sunshine as you see it and note the time. And do that again after 5, 10 or 15 minutes. And you'll see you're building a time series of the different view of the eclipse as it passes on overhead. In the end you can just write your name on it, put the date, whoever was with you, in my case my daughter Ginny, We'll put the date on there. We're going to stick this away in her art drawer and we'll use very good quality paper to do so. And then in 30 years, maybe she'll look back and remember the event very fondly. That's why I prefer this one. Very easy. It's everything you've already got on hand. It's not clunky. So if you're going to be walking to the park and you've got little ones that are probably going to need to be carried to the park, it's easier to do so. And then you get that piece of paper, which is why you should use a good quality paper in the end. Uh, and again, it's a little keepsake that you can keep. You can throw this away, but keep that paper because you know, for me, I think it's 20, 30, or 40 years when my daughter has children of her own. I'll pull it out. We can have a special moment remembering the great eclipse of 2017. Anyway, I'm just Matt Makins, and that's one of my ideas.